Let's draw the geometry of this compound. Depends on, well, it depends on the problem. Okay. But in this case, so what's going to be the geometry here? Right. realistically, we would draw it like this. Right. However, we don't care about the, 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 all the molecules here. We just care about the pattern. So a common shortcut here is to draw this now like this. Just draw the two nitrogens and draw that they're connected. Oh, okay. That's all we need for thinking about the geometry here. That's how they did in the textbook. So we can do that too. Well, here's one way we could draw this. We're running out of time, so let's try to go through this together a little bit. Um, would we call this cis or trans? Trans. Cis. Trans. 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 Because the chlorides have an angle of 180. This compound does have geometrical isomers. So if they asked you to write down all the isomers, you'd have to write both of these. And you would have both the trans and the cis. Mm -hmm. And we just learned how to draw the ethylene diamine without drawing all of the atoms. As a shortcut, you can just draw the nitrogens and draw a, a line to show that they're bonded. There's a, a string of bonds between them. OK, now let's stop talking about geometric isomers and finish off today by talking about optical isomers. Optical isomers are non-identical mirror images. Optical isomers are non-identical mirror images. Optical isomers are non-identical mirror images. So, Let's try drawing the mirror image of this compound. Let's say that this is the mirror. Let's do this together to save time. If this is the mirror, what atom goes here? Zero. Chlorine. And how about here? N. And how about here? N. And these should be bound. Uh -huh. And here. CL. And here. N. And here. N. And these should be bound. So this is the mirror image of this. Mm -hmm. It's always a good idea to actually draw the mirror. 
you can put the mirror anywhere, but I always like to just put it to the left or right of the compound, so I'm learning one technique. All right, now, these pictures look different, but that doesn't mean they are different. There might be some way I can rotate or flip this picture so it looks like this one. Is there any way we can rotate this picture so it looks like this picture? And this picture be rotated to look like this. Yes. Can we rotate this to make them look identical? Yeah. Um, we can rotate around this axis, right? And we can rotate 90 degrees. Um, let's say, for example, that we rotated 90 degrees like this. Now, if I do that rotation, what atom is going to be here? Because this is on the axis. This isn't going to change. And what atom will be here? N. Yeah, the axis isn't going to change. Mm -hmm. Right, what atom is going to be here? CL. This chlorine rotated up to here. And what atom will be here? N. This nitrogen is rotating over here. And over here? CL. This chlorine got rotated over here, and this nitrogen got rotated over here. Mm -hmm. Now let's make sure we put in the right bonds. This nitrogen used to be bound to this nitrogen on its right, but now that nitrogen has moved to its left. But they'll still be bound to each other. And this nitrogen used to be bound to this nitrogen on its left, but now that nitrogen has rotated to its right. So we've got to get those bonds right as well. Are these pictures identical? Yes. So did this trans isomer have an optical isomer? Does this have an optical isomer? And the answer is no. Because remember that optical isomers are non-identical mirror images. But it turned out that this mirror image is the same as the starting molecule. Remember that isomers have to be non-identical, but these are the same as each other. We just saw that this is the same as this. It's just rotated a different way. These are two pictures of the same thing. Right. Just like this is a picture of my hand and this is a picture of the same hand. Right. Okay. So these are not, so what's the relationship between these two pictures? Isomers are identical. Identical. They're identical. So everything has a mirror image, but not everything has a non-identical mirror image. In fact, many things are identical to their mirror images, and then they don't have optical isomers. An optical isomer is a non-identical mirror image. Because after all, if it was identical, it would just be the same molecule. Isomers have to have some difference between them. Optical isomers are non-identical mirror images. Now, this is the thing that's hard. How do you tell whether two pictures are identical or not? The only way to tell is to try rotating one of the pictures and see whether you can make it look like the other one. And that's pretty hard, because um, you have to have some pretty good three-dimensional visualization skills. That was the skill that we just went through here, rotating one picture to see whether it's identical to another picture. It's always good to do that on paper, because oftentimes people think that they can rotate things to make them look identical when they can't. Well, what's the most common example of optical isomers? Your hands are optical isomers, right? If, if this hand looked in a mirror, it would see this. But you know your hands are not identical. You can tell that because a glove that will fit one hand won't fit the other hand. Or your shoe, your feet are uh, isomers, um, optical isomers in a sense. Your, uh, a shoe that would fit your right foot won't fit your left foot. However, so your hands have optical isomers and your feet have optical isomers, but this compound does not have an optical isomer. So if the problem was asking you to draw all the isomers, you should draw this, and you should draw this. But if you draw this, you'll lose credit, because it's the same as this. In fact, well, you should draw this just for practice or to test, but then eventually you need to erase it, because it turned out to be the same as this. 
So the way to tell whether something has an optical isomer is draw the mirror image and then ask if you can rotate it to make it identical to the other one. And if you can rotate it to make it identical to the other one, you should erase it because it's not really a different molecule. So I'm going to erase these now. Is that okay? 